Hello friends, welcome to CodeShop. This is Suraj and in this video, let's discuss this problem high accuracy from July cook 2022. Now let's understand the problem statement. So here in this problem, there are total 100 questions in a paper and each question carry plus 3 marks for the correct answer and negative 1 marks for incorrect answer and 0 marks for unattempted question. So the marking criteria is plus 3 for correct, negative 1 for incorrect and 0 for non-attempted questions so i'll mark hash so it is given that chef received exactly x okay x marks then we need to determine the minimum number of problems chef marked incorrect so we are given x and we need to determine minimum number of problems that chef marked as incorrect so now let's see the input and output structure. So in the input, first of all, we'll have total number of test cases. So this is T and then for each and every test case, we'll get just one line and that one line will have the integer equal to X. And for each and every test case, we need to print just one line in that will output the minimum number of problems uh, that chef marked as incorrect. So here. Uh, there are total four test cases and for each and every test case we have printed the minimum number of problems chef marked as incorrect so now let's see the test cases so we know that x is equals to three times number of correct question minus number of incorrect question i okay so here in the first test case x given is zero so 3c minus i is equals to zero so we get i is equals to 3c so this is the case so here there is two possibility that first possibility is chef didn't attempt a single problem so all unattempted or chef uh, or chef uh, attempted let's say one problem and uh, one problem is correct and three problem is incorrect so like that then two problem is correct and six problem is incorrect like that so here the minimum number of incorrect is in the first possibility here not in the second case so here again the minimum number of uh, incorrect problems is zero because none of the problem is attempted so none can be wrong so here we'll output zero now let's see the second test case here score is x equal to 100 so there were total uh, 100 mark 100 questions and each of three marks and chef got 100 uh, okay so what it means is 100 is equals to 3c minus i okay and we want this i to be minimum so for what we can do here is we can divide this 100 by 3 so we'll get 33 times 99 so we'll get 1 okay so remainder is 1 it means that let's say uh, three problems a uh, chef chef attempted 33 problem and all are correct so chef got 99 and then one marks is extra then this one marks can be uh, like that three minus two so one correct and two incorrect so here we can say that chef attempted total um, th this 33 plus this one plus this two so in total chef attempted 33 plus 134 and 35 36 36 problems out of which th this 34 problems are correct so 34 multiply by 3 34 problems are correct and two problems are incorrect so we'll subtract minus 2 so we'll get 100 from this so here the minimum number of incorrect is 2 so we'll output 2 now let's see the third test case here uh, x is 32 x is equals to 32 so again we'll divide this 32 by 3 so 3 10 times we'll get 30 so we'll remain with 2 so we can say that 10 problems of 3 we got 30 marks okay and then we have two more marks we have two more marks which we can rewrite as 3 minus 1 it means one correct and one incorrect so uh out of 10 correct we got 30 marks then we get one more correct so we get 33 marks okay and then we get one incorrect problem so we'll subtract one so here the minimum number of uh, incorrect problems is one so we'll output one now let's see this fourth test case here uh, x is equals to 18 so let's divide this 18 by 3 
so we get 6 18 so here uh, we can say that chef solved three problems correctly so there is no incorrect problem so the output for the last test case uh, here is equal to zero now let's discuss the approach so let's say we are given this value x that is score so first of all we can calculate x modulus x modulus 3 so here we'll get if uh, x is completely divisible by 3 then we can say that uh, chef solved all the problems correctly and uh, that is uh, whatever problems chef has solved uh, uh, all of them were correct so there is no incorrect problem so if uh, if this is equal to 0 then print 0 okay otherwise if uh, x modulus 3 is not equal to 0 so here this is if condition then else if it is not equal to 0 then we first calculate remainder which is equals to x modulus 3 and then here what we can do this remainder means uh, the extra score we have and then uh, we can get number of incorrects is equals to 3 minus remainder simply why uh, because let's say if remainder is 2 it means we have our uh, extra score as 2 so we can write 3 minus uh, 2 which will give number of incorrects so the score here extra score will become equal to 3 minus number of incorrects so we get number of in incorrects directly from here so then we can directly print number of incorrects and here this method will give us minimum number of incorrects which we can get i hope you understood logic to this problem but still if you have any doubt now you can use this uh, new feature in codechef that is codechef's doubt support so let me just show you how you can use this new feature so let's say you go to this practice section and uh, let's say i pick any problem so let's let me pick this uh, age limit problem then here in this problem let's say i'm stuck and i'm unable to understand this problem or you may uh, get any confusion so what you can do here is you can go to this ask a doubt section and here you can chat with our experts so let me start this new chat and here i'll ask a simple question so let me ask So here you can see that uh, my doubt is answered and similarly you can also ask your doubts in the doubt support and get the answers quickly. So this doubt support will be available 24 by 7. So you can ask any doubt re uh, regarding this problem and the experts will be there to answer your questions. Now let's see the solution in C++. So here in C++ first of all I am accepting T the value of uh, total number of test cases then I'm calling solution function for each and every test case and in the solution function first of all I'm accepting the value of x here then here I'm checking if x modulus 3 is non uh, non zero value then I'll calculate uh, minimum uh, number of incorrects as 3 minus x modulus 3 and I'll output this otherwise if x modulus 3 is a zero then this if will be, uh, will be false and then uh, this x else statement will be executed and I'll print 0 from here. Here is the similar implementation in Python. So first of all, I'm accepting t, the total number of test cases. Then I'm calling solution function for each and every test case. And in the solution function, first of all, I'm accepting the value of x. Then here I'm checking if x modulus 3 is divisible by 3, then I'll print 0. That is the remainder will be 0 then this if statement will become false. So this else will be executed and I will print 0. And if the remainder is non-zero then I will check here. Uh, then I will print here 3 minus remainder. Okay so this will give us the minimum number of incorrects. So I hope you understood the logic and its implementation in both C++ and Python. In case you have any doubt feel free to write in the comments. So let's meet in another video. Thank you so much.